We're talking about the great CB train robbery. And when I say they robbed a train, I don't mean they boarded it like Jesse James and stole everybody's valuables. I mean they straight up deboed a train, like the whole thing. And if you don't know the CBs, I already did a whole video on them, but basically it's the Navy's construction battalion. You can think of them as construction workers with machine guns. They're pretty world renowned for their ability to build, fight, drink a lot, and overall just not give a duck. Ugh, I can't swear for the first 30 seconds or I'll get in trouble. Ugh. So once upon a time in Korea, September 15th, 1950, the United States Marine Corps, accompanied by the 1st Amphibious CB Battalion, would make an amphibious landing in Incheon, and they would immediately begin advancing eastward towards their objective, Seoul. Nine days into this advance, an aerial reconnaissance mission would report back that there were eight abandoned train locomotives inside of a depot outside of a small town known as Yongdong Po, in between Incheon and Seoul. Needless to say, Uncle Sam wanted these trains because, as I'm sure you can imagine, if you're trying to move an entire army from an amphibious landing site further inland, a train would be pretty fucking handy. But Uncle Sam had no idea how to actually acquire them. So Uncle Sam would make an appointment with the Seabees. Because everybody knows the Seabees only perform miracles by appointment. If you don't know, the Seabees build stuff for a living. And if you're good at building stuff, you're good at unbuilding stuff. It's just science. It's because of those talents, they are world renowned for their ability to steal shit. I mean, strategically relocate equipment to alternate locations. So nine Seabees volunteer to go yoink these trains. They take off behind enemy lines and make it all the way to the depot completely unnoticed. Sneaky scene. Shortly after arriving at the depot, they realize that the depot is neighboring a very large brewing facility. Yeah, shit's about to get out of hand. So in a display of flawless military bearing, half the CBs began prepping the locomotives to move, and the other half began tactically acquiring crate upon crate of beer. Fucking teamwork makes the dream work. And by dream, I mean we're gonna get fucking hammered and steal a train. Fucking America. So they finish loading up on beer and take off in the trains undetected. Alright, full stop. I cannot imagine being a bad guy on the same battlefield as the Marine Corps and the CBs at the same time. Like, if something goes bump in the night, it cannot be good. It's either the Marine Corps and they're about to start yeeting the spicy footballs at you, or it's the CBs and they're actively stealing your shit. I mean, how's that old Bible verse go? The Marine Corps yeeteth, and the CBs yoinketh away? At least I think that's how that went. Anyway, so the CBs are making their way back with these trains and it's going great. And they come up on a section of track that's been sabotaged, like they've just been cut in half. Now, it's at this point that any rational person is gonna ditch the train, grab the beer, and take off on foot. But these aren't rational people. They're CBs. They're fucking nuts. So they straight up just stop the trains in the middle of enemy territory get out and repair the train tracks before taking off again. Like, do you understand how psychologically damaging that has to be for the enemy? The CBs came into your territory, repaired your bad guy infrastructure just so they could steal your shit. It would be like the fire department showing up because your house was on fire, putting the fire out, and then stealing all your shit. Like, you're getting outclassed on a level that's just not even comprehensible. Uh, sir, the CBs stole our train and all of our booze. I thought I told you to sabotage the tracks so they couldn't do that. Oh, uh, we did, sir. They repaired them and then stole it anyways. <sighs> Shit. Shortly after they get the trains moving again, they get ambushed by the North Koreans. Which basically turns into a giant game of rock, paper, ambush, I have a fucking train, move. The CBs just straight up drive right through it. So they continue to make their way back to the front line, and there was apparently a miscommunication because nobody told the Marine Corps that the CBs would be coming through with locomotives. So naturally, the Marine Corps assumes that the North Koreans are using the trains to launch an attack. So they also begin firing on the CBs. And luckily, the Marines have attention to detail because right as they were about to whip out the bazooka and start blowing up the locomotives, some of the Marines noticed that they were actually CBs on board and not North Koreans and called for a ceasefire. And at that point, a famous interaction happened where a lower enlisted Marine turned to his commanding officer and said, imagine that, sir, there was doggies beyond the front line. Doggies referring to Marines because they're devil dogs. To which the commanding officer replied, those aren't Marines, it's the damn CBs again. Now, according to the official documents, all the booze was thrown out because they were scared that it may be poisoned. However, according to the CBs, it absolutely was not poisoned because they were drinking it the whole time. So in conclusion, the CBs are world renowned for their ability to build, fight, and given the opportunity, they will absolutely steal your shit at night. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Best way to support the channel is to go buy yourself some merch or join the Unhealthcare Club, available at thefatelectrician.com. Quackbang, out!